sturgeon are just starting to spawn in parts of northeast Wisconsin. And Pauline Lee is Go checking ahead. out the action this morning in Shyockton. Good morning, Pauline. Hey, good morning, guys. We're at Bamboo Bank. Check out what is in that net over there. Whoa. Look at that. Wow. Hey, Ryan, you have a pretty, yeah, so big. Ryan, you have a pretty good operation going here. What are you guys doing here this morning? Well, what we're doing is we're watching fish spawn on the shoreline, and we're using these large dip nets to, to capture the fish, bring them out of the river, and then we'll take the fish out of the net as the guys are doing here. <laughs> and uh, now, now comes the, the battling, the wrestling match. They're going to try to get the fish to hold still so they can get a length from the fish. Uh, this can be pretty problematic. This is a pretty decent sized male, it looks like, but uh, it might, he might hold still. So oh. they'll get a length of the nearest tenth of an inch. Uh huh. Uh, 59.3. So this is a 59.3 inch fish. Okay. And I'm going to use this reader right here to see if we've uh, pit tagged this fish in the past. And what pit tags are, are these little chips right here, shown in my hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, we inject these underneath the skin of the fish, and it's like a social security number for that fish. Uh -huh. So in the future, when we handle sturgeon, we'll use this reader to scan to see if it's already been tagged. Okay. If it's already been tagged, we'll measure it and release it. If it hasn't, we'll put a tag in. So, so in all of this work, what are you guys um, looking for? What are you guys trying to track? Uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to mark fish so that we can estimate how many fish are in the population. Okay. And then those numbers are used to set harvest caps for the spear fisheries in, in following years. Um, also, we get a di length distribution or what the size structure of the adult population is. Okay. So this fish did not have a tag. So I'll just put the tag in the needle here. Uh -huh. And then we'll inject that right behind the head of the fish. Okay. And then when we scan it, you can hear the reader beep. This is the tag number for that fish. So it's a unique 10 digit alphanumeric number. And like I said, it's like a social security number for that fish. And this fish will retain that tag for the rest of their life. Okay. So here's the number, Jack. So, and then we'll release the fish and we'll try to get another one. <laughs> and we also were determining whether the fish are males or females. Um, because they're spawning, this is the only time of the year that we can actually do that without having to actually open up the fish. So we can tell externally whether they're boys or girls. I was going to say, how many sturgeon are you planning to catch and tag? And we'll do as many as we can during the spawning run, given that we're probably going to have, you know, 10 to 14 <laughs> days to tag fish this spring by the looks of it. Yeah. We'll probably handle about 1,500 fish. Wow. wow. Okay. But in a, in a normal year, we'll try to do anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 fish. Wow. All so. right. Okay, so Rachel and Pete, the plan is for me to attempt to net one. Oh. I'm not sure how that's going to go coming up because the last time I saw a sturgeon, it was longer than I was tall and it weighed more than I did. So stick around. It's going to be an adventure. <laughs> All right. Good luck with that, Pauline.